Okay, let's see here. Death Knight, okay. Uh, we're playing Thaddeus Druid. Um, then, how do I put it? The, the deck got nerfed. But, like, I really didn't feel like it was very, like, impactful to play against. Like, sure, if they open up the Womper on 5 or even on 4 or whatever the, you know... However fast they could cheat it out, they just kind of win. But, you know, if you're playing Blood Knight, Control Priest, you really don't have an issue against playing them. Um, so, I don't know. I thought the, the nerf was a little silly. also don't like how it was the only card that was nerfed in that patch and that there was nothing else that got buffed or anything like that. It's kind of, kind of absurd. Um, but I kind of done something a little bit different with this list. Uh... The six mana guy, the Doomkin, I took that out for Fizzle. I don't like Ozumat in the deck at all. I put Lothamar in there. Because I like having a 20-20 Jailer. 22-22 Thaddeus. Like, the double stats are kind of helpful, especially against the uh, Death Knight matchup. But War Rider is typically always what I pick in the uh, matchup here. And since we opened it, this going to be nice to be able to play this super early on. If possible, you know. Uh, judging that he didn't go up to 35, this is probably Frost. That is not nice to draw. But I think I'm okay just playing this. But I did play this on stream for a little bit, but I never actually got around to clipping it and making a video out of it. So we're just going to play it now and... Oh, it's unholy. Okay. Um... <coughs> so we're going to get some games in with it. I have been extremely busy and have not been recording enough videos like I was wanting to. Um, I did record videos, but not all the audio didn't work for it. I had my mic connected, but it actually wasn't picking up the um, the sound or anything like that. And so I uh, had to delete those videos because it did not work. Is it actually better to ramp here? I actually don't know. I mean, these are, they can pop off any time. I think it's okay. Uh, I mean, we're not going to be playing this on 5. We're probably going to be playing this, this on 5. On 6, we'll play the Rivendare. That's fine to do that. And so I had to delete all those videos, and of course they were really good matches. Um, I did go on a really bad losing streak, too. I was down to Diamond 6. Uh, oh, I don't even know what deck I was playing. I was playing one deck. Wait a second, they play that? So this is like what? Double, unholy, one blue? Interesting. If that's the case, I'm going to go for the ramp here. Delightful. Yeah, I'll do that. Because we could do this next turn. Or we could play this. We could do whatever we want, really. But, um... I don't know, I feel like the meta is extremely stale right now. Like, we're in the weird, like, branch where we're about to get a new expansion, and so I think everyone's just kind of waiting for that. And it just feels a tad bit dull, if that makes sense. Uh... Did we actually pick the corner here so we could freeze that and silence it? I don't think it really matters. We actually want the armor, though. He could pop off. He only has one corpses. It's fine. We should be okay to do this. We have the flesh beam here. Pulling these out, we might just win early on doing that. But, but I'm really excited for the expansion here, and I, I'm really excited to try some new decks. And I want to, when that comes out August first, I'm gonna have to hope that I don't have. Dude, what day is August first? I actually don't know. Tuesday. Okay, so I, I I normally have those days off from work, and so I think I could either do like a long stream. Yeah, of, you know, playing that and everything like that. Uh, when the new expansion comes out, of course. Okay, let's see here. How do I want to do this? I think I might just drop this down right away and go for the lifesteal on it. Because it basically lives everything here and also go basically back to full HP. Cool. That's fine. But yeah, I've not been uploading as much as I'd like. Oh, that's really fortunate for him. My goodness. 
I guess I, may, I might, probably could have ordered it better, but it would have not changed anything there because of how the stats would have played. Uh, but we could drop down the Flesh Behemoth and hopefully we could start pulling out the, the War Rider pieces here. Drop it down. We can also do this, but there is a chance that we get the pieces and he might have some way of like changing the the, the one unholy spell that transforms in, into a 4-5 demon, the, mon the monstrosity or whatever it's called. Um... So I'd much rather him hit it on here rather than uh, cycling in the deck and playing one of the actual copies and not or one of the real versions and not a copy of the uh, the one that gets from Flesh Behemoth. Sure. Oh, another Flesh Behemoth. Okay. Uh, we're at full HP. I don't care about playing this just yet, but this might just be enough pressure to do that. We can also play this here and draw. I don't mind doing it, actually. Yeah, there's Kolog. Kolog's not bad. If we get up another time, they'll give us eight, eight, But getting our Aslars, I think, is actually pretty important here. I'll just go ahead and poke into this here. It doesn't really matter where we fade into. I'm sure the Aslar here will actually clean up pretty well. And he also doesn't have too many corpses, so the Morrow Guard isn't going to be that impactful either. As long as he doesn't, you know, have a full board. If he has like two or three spaces up, he could maybe get them slightly bigger, but... Light Fang, okay, I have not seen a, this played in a while. After it's nerf, it's just kind of doesn't get played. But Golden's really nice, I'm kind of surprised. It's cool. Uh, Plating, I don't really care about. We'll just go ahead and drop this down. Actually, no, I do like it. I'm probably going to play it, but I think that I would have liked a better draw. Uh, I think I actually might just trade here so I could get a undead right away. Yeah, I like that one right there. That's nice. Nice. Okay, so we got this one right here. Whoa. What version is he playing? Why is he playing that in the deck? It's like an all-in type of unholy deck. It's kind of strange. Um, guess we'll play another one of these. Rush here. You think it's actually gonna be too much of an impact? We could just go face with everything here. I think that's more scary than uh, trading to that. Did miss lethal? Yeah, we should be fine. Might just cycle this back to the deck and get some new stuff here. I actually think I might do that now. Like it doesn't really matter doing that, but. Either way, this is going to be pulling out another, you know, hopefully another piece. I might also pull out Thaddeus, too. Oh, there's Whomper. Okay, there's the Tong guy. So we just need the Lifesteal one now. We win that way. But it doesn't really matter. He's at 8, 8, 8 HP. And there isn't really any way for him to for HP. Oh, well, Dead Arrows is a thing. Oh, is this via OTK? I'm off it. <laughs> I think that might have been the, the OTK. Um... With the the nine nine the K Chad that's what it's called K Chad. Oh shaman okay. Uh let's see here. Uh let's see. Well we don't want that that or that. I don't the plating is not terrible at all. This is against totem shaman. This is gonna be nice to have the extra armor here since we're not gonna really be having an early game against him. Uh, I do like seeing the hedge maze maze here. I don't know why I keep saying I want to say mage but it's maze. Little tongue twister for, for me. Take, yeah, so it is Totem Shaman. So it was right to keep this here. Uh, Aslar is not terrible. We'll pass. Let us celebrate today. Um. Aquatic form. Uh, we'll save the aquatic form for turn six off chance that, uh, Whomper's at the bottom. We can play the plating now. Or we can play the Astar to get something on the on the on the board right away. I don't think it really matters to play the Astar here. I think we'll just go for the plating. Because he can just trade into it, and then if he gets the healing totem, he's just gonna restore HP. It's not a lot of waste to play it, but it's just Yeah, I got the healing totem, that's why I like it. I don't think it makes sense to play just there. Uh, that is a card, actually. I'm going to coin that out. Uh, 
Hey, that's not bad. I actually am going to go for the nurse here. Or the ramp. Uh, turning at Maul. Actually, I might go for the Sir Finley here. Turn 5, we could go into this ramp. We're going to draw into that, and the next turn we can play this. Or does it make more sense to actually pick the nurse here? So we could, like, ramp, and then we could do three draws. <laughs> we'll know these two at the bottom, so we can't. If we do draw into our Mishmash, or we, we won't have a turning at Maul play unless there's another one that's up closer. I think I might go for the nurse here. Let's see, turn five, we'll do this, nourish. Or nourish and go for the ramp. Probably play the Astolar here, because we'll be able to kill one of the totems. Um, if we play this, we're not going to have very many cards in hand anyhow. We're only going to be getting four new cards, so I think, I, I think it is better to go for the nourish here. I am the oh, yeah, stone right on curve. That's annoying. And that getting up to five is so crazy. Yeah, we have to kill the that one right there. Uh, we'll gain two mana crystals. We'll play this. And we'll pop the one that gives attack because we don't want more pressure. But he has a bloodlust on curve. I think we we just kind of are done for too. That's eight. Fourteen plus what three? Six nine. That's almost lethal for him. Pretty scary. Ooh. And the schooling too, okay. Uh, not gonna trade? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, this is the downside of playing stick. Why I don't think this deck is, like, too, you know, impactful. Oh, Kolag is a card. But we still just lose either way. Trades into the taunt. It's only 8 HP. That's up to 15. He still has way more damage. Um, there's nothing I could draw into, so we just lose. But we'll play we'll play it through. Maybe magically. It's not lethal, but it he has well over that's eight plus eight, so that's sixteen he has to trade into. He also has a schooling stuff. He could also have just a hex or anything that won't give us the armor too. Like I don't know what he plays. Yeah. We lose. But, you know, that's why I'm saying, like, that nerf to this card does not make any sense. Even if we did get that on turn 5, they would still already have a board developed that we probably wouldn't be able to deal with anyhow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's the downside of the deck. You either open up the nuts or you don't. Oh, see, another Death Knight. If it's Frost or Unholy, I'm, I'd have, I'd be happy with that. I don't really want to deal with a Blood Knight. But we keep the Whomper. We see it. We instantly keep it. Oh, we just get double Whomper. Okay, this is going to be the nuts. Hopefully. I don't know. Never know, but... I do like this doesn't have the Undead tag. If this had the Undead tag, I think this card would be way worse. Just for, like, options of the... uh and be able to transform this into something else. Oh, we just draw both of these. Okay. That is something. Uh, I might just automatically play Aquatic Form to try and get something that, oh. Uh, you know both these at the bottom of the deck. I really don't like that. This is against Blood Knight, so we have to wait for him to go through both his Soul Stealers to even deal with, to even play this. So I think I might just pick the Mesh Monster here, even though we can go for the Plating, I'll pull it out right away. Oh, I mean, we have the second one here. We could go for either of these when we want to. We'll go ahead and go, go for the Plating here. I don't play that one right there. I was if the reason why I wanted to play the clock form there was to hope to find uh, a wild growth or even like a uh, what's it called the uh, seedsman because I want to ramp a little bit faster I want to get ahead and on curve more so we could eat him down a little bit faster because once blood knight you know starts getting stable then we can't really do anything against them um gosh I'm really scared for the titan for blood knight like I'm pretty sure I talked about this in the last video that I did for the demon hunter video but like the the blood rune version or effect that the titan gets to like take those stats, add to it, and then also to uh, 
HP, like Blood Knight's gonna be so scary to go against. Oh, well, we just get it right there. That's nice. Uh, I'll play this again. It's fine. It's gonna be really scary. I'm pretty sure it's just the HP, but the HP is what matters because it's able to stick there on the board a little bit longer and actually get all three effects. Like that, I think that's one of the few Titans that's actually gonna be able to stay on the board that long. Um, longer than all the other Titans, so it'll more likely than not be able to get through all three abilities um, compared to all the other Titans, which I think is actually crazy. Because Death Knight's already an irritating class to go up against in general. Like, all three classes. I think Unholy is probably the least, like, of a worry for most people, but, like... Ooh, I think I might just play this. We could wait a little bit. But, um... Oh. It's gonna be it's gonna be a very scary titan and it costing eight mana is not terrible at all they could probably like make it nine mana like I, if i if i had to like make a really fast assumption about what cards are probably gonna get nerfed it's probably gonna be that guy first like like if there's a 10 hp you know mini on the board it's gonna go from what it's a seven nine or something like that right seven eight it's gonna get 80, 18 hp and then your hero's gonna get 10 hp like that's insane really insane i'll actually just innervate that out Oh, we get the nuts with Thaddeus. Um, that been fortunate with that. Maybe we should have waited a turn when we had extra mana for that, but he probably has a way to deal with it. Maybe he probably has Obliterate. But if I had to make a guess, he'd probably nerf that card first. As, or maybe it would be the Shaman Titan. Like, I'm just, you know, speaking out, just judging from how it looks. Like, we still haven't seen all the cards yet. I, I know that there's been some other reveals of the cards but i haven't gotten around to actually looking at them I, I i've seen some like the hunter stuff all the secret package stuff and you know adding in the the one man the costume singer for hunter makes a lot more sense now and i definitely think a uh, aggro secret hunter is going to be a, a deck for a little bit of time Ooh. judging by that he didn't have any way to deal with this so it's safe to assume that he probably doesn't have an obliterate or maybe a death strike that's six seven eight nine ten eleven yeah if you, have, if you get the death strike that's exactly damage for there I actually don't mind him doing all that he's getting rid of a board for us we could play this oh he doesn't have it oh that's really bad for him actually the nuts okay uh actually I don't even think I want to play this just yet I think I just want to play this for Finley, and the reason why I'm hoping for the Jailer is so we could get the Rivendare. Is that the right play to make, though? I don't know. Let's do this first. Okay, we know we have that there. Guess we'll go for the fanboy. I don't think it really matters. Because judging if he didn't he didn't get a Death Strike, he didn't get an Obliterate, which means he doesn't have it yet, which means he could top deck it, but he's still going to be taking all that damage there, too. We're going to do this first. Yeah, we got the band manager. That's what I'm looking for. Because he's only at turn six. He's already played the coin. Yeah, of course, we get the stuff that's on the bottom already. Okay, well, there's a Kolog. That's already insane. And we have Eternia Maw. Yeah. Because I'm going to play this, and I'm going to do the double trigger for this. We're going to go face. We don't need to play this either. I'm assuming he has an answer for this now. He probably has a Corpse Explosion or a Blood Boil. Which would allow him to trade into everything here. Actually, no, it wouldn't allow him to. This would still be alive with one HP. He did have the corpse explosion, okay. We're still gonna get a guy off of the Oh, we got a, another Thaddeus, okay. Ooh, this is the nuts. I'm gonna go for the double trigger, the off chance that he, you know, has something that could destroy it. Um, it's only turn seven for him. We could we could have just played the jailer right away there. Which honestly probably wasn't the worst like worst play to do. But I'm not worried about it. I think I don't I I think he doesn't have anything to do. I, judging by him not being not having anything to remove the first status, he can't do anything. Yeah. That 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 was very lucky against the Blood Knight, I'd say. Extremely lucky.